Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves, all on this journey to reunite with our twins in this lifetime. And uh, so I am going to do an energy read. Um, it is the uh, Capricorn, isn't it? We've had to, just had um, a moon in Capri Cap Capricorn. So I thought, let's see what's going on. And uh, of course, the cards totally... Uh, tell the story of what I've been feeling and I know that a lot of you have been feeling the same because I've been getting the same in emails of this sense of uh, basically there's that like um, thing of lots of people thinking oh it's just tough isn't it and um, I really want to be with them and um, it's just hard and so that is totally reflected in the cards. So these are, it's an amazing way of giving you a bit of guidance to say, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. The support is there to help you and um, to say, yeah, it is tough at the moment, but that's because we're all ascending and we're all going through healing. And that is, um, it's, a, it's a rocky road. So, what's going in, on in there? What I do is what's going on in the divine counterpart's head, what's in their hearts, and then what they're wanting. And I use Sandra and Taylor um, energy deck and also um, the Whispers of Love oracle for um, a love message on either side. And they are by Josephine Wall and Angela Hartfield. So, firstly, what's going on in their heads? So what's in their heads is this, uh, which is going to, when I saw this, I was like, oh, I just feel so compassionate towards them. Because what's going on in their heads is like, I need to have my heart healed, right? Um, Archangel uh, Raphael is the angel of healing. Um, and here he's holding, you know, basically his heart is lit up in green. And there is that huge need to have um, softness for the heart, you know, that because many of our divine counterparts are going through um, karmic situations that leaves them a bit bruised and battered and feeling like that they want to, that they need a basically that they need to be taken under somebody's wing. And so this is number 11 as well, 38 is 11. 11 is of course the sign of the awakening 11 11 and the sign of spirit and the sign of angels and so um it is that you know in the in their headspace is this real need to just want to have basically that comfort a comfort of having their heart healed and knowing that everything's going to be okay because what's at the heart of them then is wanting to have the happy family and wanting the rainbow and this is, for me, this is always like the Ten of Cups. It's the ultimate emotional bliss card. And um, what's it? So basically, it's because at the heart of them, they're being pulled towards, of course, divine love. And divine love is all about healing and heart healing and realizing that there is a soft, compassionate type of love um, that doesn't, you know, that doesn't have any conditions or have any expectations on it. And so this is what the heart is calling them towards. Because the key thing to know for them is that they are feeling the love that you provide, right? So here you are on the side, right at the side of them, offering this huge heart of love. And they are taking that and it's making them look beyond what their head, their head says to look. He's looking... He's the thinking man, but he's looking at the crystal, right? Because it's making him look a different way at the world, a different way at living, a different way at wanting to have a different way of living and looking at relationships, right? So, uh, because actually his heart is saying, I really want to have the happy family. I really want to have happy ever after. And then what, because then what they're wanting is this. So it is the soul path, it's number seven. It is community, which is the rise and the, the rise of the God, goddess energy, the rise of the God, goddesses. It's you, 
right? It's your twin flame journey. It's your twin flame community. It's the community of light workers. It's the community of everyone this, that is ascending into the rainbow, into the bliss, into heart healing and heart opening and heart awareness. The community of people that are living from the heart, that is what they want. So, and then the whispers of love guidance was act as if your partner is already here. So whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. So their prompt is to, you know, because they are longing, you know, they're wanting this heart healing, they're longing to be with you. Um, their soul is calling them towards it. And so that's why their guidance is to say, act as if you're already here, because then there is no sense of missing you. So if your actions and thoughts take into account someone else's feelings, you will be more in alignment with a true relationship. If your partner is not with you yet, generate the feeling that you are already sharing your life with your special someone. This will change the way you feel and can alter your attitude and your potential to attract them into your life. So, you know, that is showing that they, you know, they are wanting, they're feeling the gap, right? They're feeling that gap because um, in their head, they're wanting this, this intense emotional connection. Um, that brings them healing so and then how this is mirrored and so this is like crazy um just reflecting exactly uh what i've certainly felt the energies to be like over the last sort of over the last well i guess over the holiday period right and christmas and new year always brings up those you know it brings up much more about people that aren't with you at that time so what's going in our, our heads is this basically trying to find the calm in amongst the storm, trying to go into the eye of the storm to find peace, right? Um, but the good thing about this is it's number 10, so it means that this is over or coming to an end. And also it's about, um, you know, the lessons that you have learned over this period and by going into the calm of the storm, by basically surviving the storm and coming out the other side, is that it's taking you to another level of learning. It's taking you to another level of understanding your soul journey together. It's taking you to another level of appreciating um, the divine timing. And all of that... Um, takes you know basically there is no hurrying it that is part of being on this journey is about believing and trusting and having faith in divine timing so um, and it's only really when we hit those times of really hitting rock bottom do you really reach out and then when you come through the other side you're like okay I understand why I understand so that's what's been going on in our heads in our hearts then is this sense of being tied up to and not being able to go forward right tied up because um either your twins tied to somebody else tied to karmic situations tied to old habits tied to old ways of living tied to everything basically um and but if you look here then um, the, the key thing to know for us is if you look here, and this is why this journey is quite so amazing, because in our hearts is this feeling of sense of being tied up. But if you look here, the key thing to know for us is that when you have appreciation for the journey, when you understand that it's a healing journey, when you understand that you're holding the flower of divinity for your twin and, and him for you or her for you, that's where you get your healing and that's where you overcome the feeling of feeling tied up uh, because again it puts you into that state of appreciating the journey you're on appreciating divine timing appreciating that you're on a love path right 51 is six six is harmony peace and love and um and so this is the mirror right this is this is basically at the heart of us is two sides of the journey 
right? And we are the duality within us, within our hearts. On one side, it is the fear that it is that being tied up because we're not with, you know, being tied up emotionally, right? Because we're not with our twin at the moment. But the other side of the coin is that is seeing the magic and seeing the bliss and seeing the signs and synchronicities and seeing the messages and songs and, and everything and videos on YouTube and all of that. And that's where you start to get into the appreciation of the journey again. And so, of course, there is duality within each and every one of us, even for the journey, which is why this is reflected here. And so um, what we're wanting, <laughs> and this is just brilliant because basically it's to step out of the shadow, right? To not have that feeling, to clear away the feeling of being tied and having this sense of storminess and, you know, and feeling unease and doubt and self, you know, all of that stuff that creeps in. Um, and to step fully into the golden light, to step fully into appreciating the journey and really trusting in the heart and divine timing. This is all about trust and faith, right? As soon as you have that trust and faith and really, really know you can step away from the chain and move straight into the golden energy. And so that's what we're wanting. We're wanting to have that absolute faith. And so the message is, is that be supportive, make a genuine effort to show you care. And so this is the universe as well saying, um, we support you. You know, there is so much support on this journey for you. So all that is needed is some extra support and care. Take the time to encourage someone. Recognize the effort that they are making. Being supportive will help create harmony and peace. Just as the angels support us in all things, be willing to support the ones you love. So for me, this is not just about supporting the twin flame journey, and you, but it's a big message about support yourself. You know, ask for help. In these times when, when it's feeling stormy and you're feeling like, oh, I just need, I just need something, then um, the message is to ask for help. So what is it you really need help with? Be willing to, your, to allow yourself the support you need. So this message is really strong about saying we know that it's challenging. We do know it's challenging and um, therefore reach out and ask us to help you and support you because we are here to support you the angelic realms are here to support you there is so much support for you on this journey because the crowning energy is the doorway to ha happiness and healing so in this reading there is the double rainbow there is the double rainbow right the healing journey is always rocky because you know if we were just skipping around, you know, all the time, um, we wouldn't be letting go of things that we need to. So um, it is, again, another level of appreciation for this journey that it is a healing journey that we're all connected to. And at the heart of us is this desire to want to have, uh, again, it's intimacy. It's moving out of the head into the heart, moving into more intimate relationships and more connections right really really heartfelt romantic connections and ultimately then the um, grounding energy is the magician it is that you have the power within it's basically the alchemical marriage of divine union um, to create magic in your life to create the double rainbow to blow away the storm clouds and to really um, be in the appreciation of the journey again and to realize that the journey is going to be um, full, of, full of ups and downs um, but there is healing and basically through every storm there is huge healing that happens the other side of it and so that there's always like a breakthrough you know it's another level so that's the message. You're another level closer to getting to your happy family. All right. I hope that helps. Take care. Bye.